Okay, in this tutorial, we'll see how to uh, create uh, Ajax methods and display the total incomes, the total expenses, and total transactions uh, on the dashboard. So we'll create a we'll create cards, uh, block of cards like boxes, and we'll display the weekly, monthly, and yearly transactions, uh, incomes, and expenses. So before starting, I have done some changes to the application that uh, UI changes. So if you go to transaction listing here, you can see the menu is highlighting. And when we create a new transactions here, you can see the menu again, the tab is highlighting. Okay. So this is the edit functionality and I will add this functionality to GitHub. I won't explain this functionality in this project as I'll be focusing on dashboard page. Okay, let's get started now and uh, let's create uh, the repository functions for this. So the query functions for the dashboard page. So we go ahead and we open our editor and we can see there is a dashboard transaction repository here okay right now we have one function that are find filter transactions in this okay let's go ahead and create new functions here okay we'll have a custom query here to this query will uh, get the sum of expenses between dates okay like the weekly date so uh, the monthly dates okay the start date and the end date so the parameters that we will take in are start date and the end date and the transaction type will be the expense transaction type and we are fetching the data between the dates okay once we do this uh, next what we need to do is we need to uh, get another query now for the uh, these are the total expenses, sum of expenses. Now we'll have the we have to get the query for sum of total incomes. So let this query here. So this is a this query is for income. So the transaction type is incomes here, and it will sum the incomes between dates. So it will again take the start date and the end date. Now the third part we need to get the total number of transactions. Okay, to get the total number of transactions, let's use this query here. So this query will select the count of the transaction from the specified dates. So once we have created the queries, okay, let's create a transaction service functions for this. Okay, so let's add the function here. So let me explain the function now. So I will be getting the total expenses so we need to import these classes on the hash map class and this is temporal registers is for dates so I've included this okay here we can see that we are passing the sum of between functions which is in the repositories and we are passing the start date and the end date okay so it will calculate the expenses for the current month the current week and the current year and then we are retaining the total expenses okay once we have created this let's go ahead and create a controller function for this let's go to transactions controller and let's include the total expenses function here. again we need to import these classes and we can see that this will be an ajax call hence we are using the response body okay now we have created a controller service and a repository function let's go ahead and create a view for this okay let's include the jquery for this first and an ajax function for this so i've included a jquery function okay and included jquery and a jquery function to display the data 
so we are going to create this blocks here but first let's see if we if the ajax call is working so let's save this and let's rerun the application and we'll see if we get any errors or any issues in the application okay the server has been started now let's re go to inspect element and let's reload this to see if this is working and we can see that 404 we are getting error of 404 page so uh so it is not getting the dashboard total expenses url okay so what we need to do is we need to remove the url since it cannot find this url and it is pointing to the root url let's save this and remove the dashboard from here and rerun and now if we reload the page we should okay, there is still a sections controller so we need to remove this method from this place and place it in the dashboard controller so if we place this now in the dashboard controller this should work fine if we save this uh, we are using transaction service okay to get uh, so we need to include the transaction service here we need to include this on top of the class so when we start the class we need to include this and we need to import transaction service class okay so once we import we need to import all the required classes and then if we run this so we should not see the error occurring so if we clear this console and reload the application so the application is reloaded and we can see exp total expenses is 200 and it is giving us the total expenses of monthly weekly and yearly uh, okay now let's work on the other functions okay so we are getting the total expenses now let's work on the ajax call of total incomes okay we go ahead and get the total incomes function okay so we have a total incomes function in the dashboard but this function we need to create in the transaction service so let's go ahead and create a get total incomes function in transaction service so if we go to transaction service class and our function will be similar to this to fetch the total expenses so we in this function we have we have get total incomes which will go to transaction repository and some income between dates okay we need to import this class here okay this will uh, give us the total incomes for month week and year i'll save this code okay and we already have the sub incomes between dates in transaction repository okay so now let's go ahead and create another the ajax function if we go here just below this we create another function here so this is for total incomes it is a similar function where we should remove this and we should have total incomes here and we would populate this data but let's see if this works so it should give us now the total incomes and the total expenses so let's rerun this application okay and let's create the console network and let's reload the page and we can see that total incomes and the total expenses are working fine so next let's see how to uh, get the total count of the transactions so we'll go ahead and create a similar function in the controller so we'll go to the dashboard controller so we'll go ahead and add this function here so it will get transaction counts from the uh, transaction service so get transaction count so we need to go ahead and create this function so we'll go ahead here and create uh, 
new service method here which will be get transaction uh, get total transactions so let's go ahead save this and check the dashboard okay we need to change this method to get total transactions no uh, yes to get the total transactions here so we'll change this method to this okay total transaction is present in the total transactions is present in the transaction service if we see we have a total transactions and we need to create discount transaction between dates so this method we have already added into our repository so this is the method count transaction dates if we save this and let's create a ajax function for this and let's add the ajax function here below the income step let's save this and let's rerun this application okay we need to remove this dashboard okay once we remove the dashboard let's rerun this application and now let's check the server and we can see all our apis are working fine so ijx calls on this are working fine so now let's in the next video let's create a ui and cards for the retrieved data and we'll populate the data